LRB Hello world, how's it going? Hope you guys are all doing great. If not, I hope it gets better for you. Now, as some of you guys may have saw in the previous video, I showed this box and what's in it. And it came from the Greater Cincinnati Aquarium Society Swap, which was so awesome meeting everybody at the swap. I had a great time. And uh, yeah, hopefully you plan on doing it again. So let's check out what's in this super bright box. There it is. All right, so let's check this out. And I am also going to show you the fish that are in the QT and what I brought back from Chicago, as well as what I brought back from Grand Rapids, Michigan the other week. These guys are super cool. These are like a type of catfish. Let's call them mini shark cats. Pseudotrophius. But he said this is as big as they get. Pretty cool looking. Pretty cool looking. Especially if that's as big as they get. Like a glass cat, but not. Just really super shiny. Then in here, we've got the daisy rice fish, blue neon rice fish, which I have some, but I wanted to get some deeper genetics here. And these look super healthy. Oh, there's some eggs floating by in the uh, bag here. Oh, there they go. But not least, I've got some. These are the Sawelia lineolata, the Hillstream loaches. We've got seven babies in here. Tiny little guys. I figured why not. We got some spaces for them. So that does it for Cincinnati. Oh, and check these out. Eight foot lights. LEDs. But this is what I get. Uh, yeah, that's my cord. You guys ever get an order like this? It's just like, oh my god. What am I going to do with that now? Hopefully it's not too hard. Get that figured out and... Maybe do something with these. It's kind of a different bulb. It's V-shaped. Lights on each side. But we'll mess with that later. Alright, so here's the main QT. Fish area, 20 gallon highs. I've got them upstairs away from all the rest of the fish rooms. That way nothing can get contaminated over. Sorry about that reflection, but not much I can do with the sun right now. Actually... Maybe I can. Let's see here. Alright, not perfect, but a little better. Get down here. Here's some, I believe, red melon discus. I got these two weeks ago from the Greater Chicago, or Greater Chicago Cichlid Association swap. Very beautiful fish, and they were not cheap. But they're absolutely beautiful, and they're doing pretty good. And let's see, here I got from Greater Cincinnati, here are those uh, Hillstream loaches. Thought this would be a good tank for them with these uh, baby quarries. Got a couple there on the glass. They're liking the tank. Actually got baby millennium orange albino rainbows in here oh here's one see him swimming there oh there goes another one they're starting to get some size on them then in here i have some orange rabbit snails that i also got from uh, the snail guy at the greater sick greater chicago cichlid association swap very cool snails i love rabbit snails 
Also some Santa Claus shrimp in here somewhere. As well as some thread fin babies. So that's the uh, thread fin rainbow fish. And then I've also got some new plants going on here. I think this is the uh, pogo stimmon octopus. And some rotalia and whatnot. Not gonna get into the new plants too much. I don't have a whole lot of new, new ones. Here's some yellow rabbit snails also from the snail guy. Really cool. Snails back there. There's some big Corydoras. I fan, I believe, Paleatis. Then up top here, we've got the all other color. Um, I believe these are the all other color guppies. We'll see when they grow out. But they actually came from award winning line too. And let's see, here we've got the spotted rabbit snail on the glass there. Kind of hard to see. Got some black rose shrimp in there, bristle nose. They've been in there for a while. Albino snakeskin in there. Those actually need to come out. I've been kind of using these as braiding tanks too when there's nothing in them. But these guys, these guys are really, really cool. So this is a Danube River Crested Newt. Really cool. And there's the female. They're really digging this setup. And yes, they do eat tetracolor tropical granules. Yeah, they are swimming together. It's really cool because he'll do like a little dance in front of her. They're like mating. Or, well, he's trying to mate. And I've seen it a couple of times. It's really neat. I've got a few shrimp in there too. And then some other babies. The white cross endlers. Really neat. I'm gonna definitely have to give these guys their own tank. And I haven't really named any of my fish or pets or any, well, I named my cats. But I haven't really named any of my aquatic pets, but I think these guys just might get a name. And I don't know, might leave that up to you guys. Cause I'm sure you guys will probably come up with something better than I will. But how cool is he? Really, really cool. All right, I could spend forever on those. Then up here, we've got the uh, daisy rice fish, neon blue rice fish. We got ember tetras. And we've also got some pencil fish. So I got the pencil fish and the ember tetras from the Grand Valley Aquatic Society swap, which was last week. Really cool pencil fish. I'm starting to breed the pencil fish with rainbow fish. And it seems to be a pretty good um, combination. We'll see how it goes with other pencil fish. And I will uh, update you guys a little more on that later in another video, I'm sure. And then the daisy rice fish. I got those this week at the Greater Cincinnati Aquarium Swap. Here I've got some red and black guppies that I've got from the local club the circle city aquarium club which those guys are ready to come out but i've just kind of been leaving it as a breeder tank and i've got orange rice fish which i also got from the circle city aquarium club from another member john stoller you guys may have seen his fish room tour oh yeah she's carrying a bunch right there let's see there she is nice and i'm hoping they'll breed out in that tank too and we got some more rummy nose now i couldn't pass these up i got a couple rummy nose already these guys were healthy and happy somebody was breaking down a tank and uh yeah these guys are awesome very awesome so i'm also hoping they will breed in that tank i gave them this tank to themselves Besides a Placo, there is a bristle nose in there. I like to keep a Placo in the tanks just so I don't have to clean the glass as much. Really cool fish. These guys will always be one of my faves. And then in here, it's a little murkier. This tank was actually pretty clear yesterday, but 
Not today. I've got these tetras. These are our unidentified tetras that I got from the Grand Valley Aquarium Society from an awesome breeder named Chase. And, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is why the tank's dirty. These catfish. I don't know if they're eating the granules or not. There's still a lot of food down there. I'm going to have to watch that. These guys are really cool. These are the ones I showed you in the bag earlier. They're kind of skittish, so... As you can tell. Oh, it looks like he's eating them. Yeah, look at him go. Okay, that's a good sign. Maybe they're starting to realize. Well, hopefully these uh, neon tetras will, or not neons, but these tetras will be all right with them. I don't wanna put these guys in the 240. They'll have plenty of space to spaz out in the 240. But yeah, mind the uh, dirty side there. The reason why that's actually full of algae is the fact that my TV's there and sometimes it gets the ambient light from the TV being on and uh, it just grows extra algae on that side. Man, you see all that mom they kicked up? Oh well. And uh, these guys, these guys are probably going to go into my 125 high. I think I'm going to try to breed them. I don't think, I don't know if it's a male and female, but... I guess we'll find out. We'll give it a try. I think they may be. I don't know. What do you guys think? And we might as well do a update on the Aquatic Experience Scape Tank because it's been a while. But you guys can see it's definitely way, way, way overgrown right now. Ton of HC. This algae is crazy. It actually like it's like growing on a stem now, almost like a plant. Like, look at this. See this? How cool is that? Unless, I bet you that's what that is. It's grown on the bulbous. And it just looks like it's grown on a stem. Very wild. Very wild algae. I don't know what is up with it, but it's cool. You can see the plants are still happy, healthy. But I needed to get some of this HC out of here. I'll probably be selling some of that on site because many pellias not getting enough light down there. But you can see how it's living into like almost no light. A little bit rolling out. It's growing good. You got a baby fish here. Whoa, there it goes. And then here I have the uh, tiger teddies. Really tiny live bear. Got like these tiger stripes on them. Of course he's gonna be at the frost line. Alright, so yeah, there's that tank. It needs some work. Definitely to thin things out. Alright, so there you have it. That's what's going on in the QT section right now. I can't wait to get a lot of these out. And they are handy for breeders when I'm not getting stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!